Yo, hello everyone. If you are a developer using GitHub to manage your code, you can integrate Notion to keep track of issues, tasks, and project updates. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of integrating Notion with GitHub, so you will have full knowledge and full experience with this tool application. So let's get started. Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply launch your browser. Right from this point, I will need you to go to your URL section, search for Notion. From here guys, go ahead and click on this link which is Notion, your Wikidocs project. And then click on get Notion for free through this button. Here, what you have to do is sign up with an email address or continue with Google, Apple ID, or you can also continue with SML, SSO. Let's continue with our work email, and here let's give them a code. For example, hamburger. This is just an example for a sign up code. But for me, I'm going to continue with Google, so I have everything fast. Now, I have created my account successfully. So how are you planning to use Notion? For my team, for personal use or for school. If your team, you will cooperate on your docs, projects and wikis. If for personal use, why better think more clearly, stay organized. And of course for school, keep your notes, research and tasks in all in one place. I'm going to do it for school. Click on continue. And they are going to take us to our workspace. So this is our workspace. And here you might find everything from quick notes if you'd like to add any quick notes for example make to-do list for example wake up brush teeth eat breakfast uh, trans uh, like uh, exercise read books uh, whatever you'd like here you can check your personal home where you have your daily movie list recipes life yearly goal travel plans etc which is pretty cool stuff to have since sometimes most of us guys are not organized, you don't have goals in life and this will help you actually achieve more stuff in your life and feel more proud of yourself. Here you'll find your task list to do, doing, done. You can here add simply any task you'd like and here doing and done. Of course you can, for example here, if I'm going to add here um, exercise, if I'm done with it, just can just drag it over here and take it here and yeah, it will be done. Here for example, I can delete it. And that's it. Here's the journal where you can write anything you think of, like this is your diary basically. And here the reading list. If you have any books to read in the upcoming days, you can just save it over here and read them later on. You can even rate them here, give them a status if you, you started it in progress, when have you stopped, the link of it, and much more as you can see here. And the best thing about this website is they giving you everything in detail, from the links, from stuff, etc. So here guys, also, you can create a team space. Just by going here, create team space, you can actually create team space so you can invite other members and other people to your team and start sharing the journal, the task list, personal and quick notes. And yeah, that's it for now. So now if you'd like to actually connect Notion with any other application, you would like an intermediate, intermediate application which called Zapier. Zapier is an application which will help us connect Notion with any other application that we have in mind. If we logged out and we start a new free trial account and we logged in into our accounts. This is how it's going to look like when it will first open. Here you are simply going to choose the application that you are willing to connect with each other. So it can be whatever application you have in mind. So here first, I'm going to pick Notion. And then here, we're going to choose whatever application else we want. In our case, we're going to use any application possible that actually connects with Notion. So if I were to here Notion, you'll find here a 
bunch of application that supports it so if it relates to, for example b these are all the applications that support it a again this one b and yeah they are infinite with zapier guys you can connect two apps to do an automation for you if you'd like to do more than one app you can simply click here to upgrade your plan and make the plan into like a starter professional team or company each one will give you more zaps to do and more tasks also to do in each zap and i highly recommend you guys to go for the professional one if you are going to really go into deep with zaps they will give you a limited zap in two minutes update time which is really really good with 2k tasks per month so i highly recommend you guys to go for this one as an example but yeah it is completely up to you so now let's continue with the main tutorial and now i shall just fix this real quick so here in notion click this and of course here our app which is github so just click here search for github and here it is there's of course not only github guys there is as many as you think of of applications there's so many applications that I can't even count them with five hands. All right, guys. So here, when this happens, new database item, and then do this. Of course, you can do the reverse. So GitHub here, for example, and here Notion, but I don't know if it has the uh, action. Okay, it has the action, so that's good. So you can do the reverse, it depends on you. Here, I'm going to do it the simple way, which is Notion first, and github second for example here new database item here select an item so i'm going to add here for example this check organization membership create comments create issue delete branch so here we are going to add for example comments try it and now let's make sure that our account is connected choose this one here we go continue the trigger we're going to choose um, read the list continue and for the test we are going to test it now give it some time until it is successfully tested and yep it is correct now the same thing for github click here sign into your account and it is as simple as that if you don't have an account click here to create a new one and do the same things do the same little things that you made here account connected trigger or action and then test it and finally you will have to have the same logo on both sides so the logo of success on notion and in github so on both sides then go here as you can see fix to publish it will be published for you so just click on it and then you can start doing the uh, automation or connection between these two as much as you want it can take for the free version until a hundred times as you can see here in the bottom right or left so yeah guys that was completely it that's how you can connect these two apps thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial